In our last video, we talked about version 10, and we alluded to a big Tesla surprise. We actually had two big Tesla surprises this week. It's been a great Tesla week for us. The latest surprise is... Ta -da! A new referral power wall. We just got Another it installed. One! And so now we have four of them, and the one that was there wasn't signed, if you remember correctly. So the one that was there, they moved there, and the signed one they put in its spot. So now we have over 53 kilowatt hours of storage, which helps a, a lot with our solar system that we have, which is 16.575 kilowatt system. But basically this lets us, we could almost go indefinitely if we have a big power outage. This will let us run the house almost indefinitely, at least several days. Well, this is the earliest I've started the vlog in uh, quite a while, but today we have some big news happening here at the garage. So you might already have seen, we have three of the Red Founders Powerwalls that we got installed when we got all our solar. But there's some wall over there that's looking awfully empty. So we're gonna have to change that today. Anyway, now maybe you can kinda get it all in. There you go. That right there is getting its own power wall today. So today they're actually coming to install it and we kinda wanna go over some of the perks of the power wall. Because believe it or not, you can actually make money having a power wall and you don't even need solar. So we'll go ahead and go over all of that a little later today. So Tesla should be coming really, really soon. So let's go ahead, get the last thing moved and uh, get another power wall installed. I wanna see the light. Okay, so cleaning car, don't worry about that. Um, anyway, <laughs> one guy who just went to go get a few more parts, we got the other guy who's still there. We got the new power wall here. There have been a couple changes though to how things gonna work. Yeah, so there's three there, and one's gonna go right there, but we had the outlet, so they're gonna have to drop that, whatever going on over there. But that one is actually signed. So, we're doing some things, we're shuffling some things. That one is going to move there, and the signed brand new one is gonna go in that spot. So we have all three signed on this wall, and the unsigned one there. That's the goal. So that is the new panel. It's a lot bigger, the old one was maybe about yay big, this one needs to be bigger to really push all the amps from all the power wall and all the solar to the house. Okay, so install is all done. Kind of went over it briefly. That one's supposed to be signed, so hopefully it is. The guys that came out were super great today and actually moved the unsigned one right there because it would have looked funny having a signed unsigned, signed, signed, that would have drove us nuts. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so luckily we'll have the three signed ones and the unsigned one, and everything just looks so good. Just Okay, so there's something else we need to do, David. What? It needs to be peeled. Do you want to peel it? We can both do it, let's put, put that on the- uh... Oh, we'll both peel, okay. Let's put you guys on here. You guys ready? Let's pull it. Ready? One, two, three. Oh. Hey! And JV's on there! Yeah. We were wondering if JV was still there. Thanks, JV. Thanks, Elon. Yeah, we Thanks, didn't know Ron. if uh, JV would be on there because unfortunately JV is no longer like with the company, kind of. Well, he's I still mean, available at, like he, for. He is, but he is not with the company, whatever have you. Dude. But we really appreciate all of you, not just Elon, because it's, it's really all the team at Tesla. Let's preface that. Let's just make sure everyone's aware of that. We appreciate everyone at Tesla. So here we go. Let's do the uh, rundown. Sorry for the fingerprints on some of this. These outer two must have been signed at a similar time because they all signed in the same spot. Yeah. But now JB signed like down here and Elon signed up top. It's getting dark here. We're gonna pick this up tomorrow and give you some details about power walls and why we absolutely love them and how you can actually get them to make money for you. David's sending photos. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. 
So big thank you to all you that actually used our referral code. We got our last power wall that we were waiting on installed. So huge thank you to you guys because you guys actually really helped make all this possible. And a thank you to Tesla too, of course. Oh, of course. That was going to be my next thank you yeah. because they, they actually did such a great job on all the installs and thankfully they were able to move that power wall from there to there so we could have the three signed ones there because otherwise my OCD would have gone crazy if we had a signed, unsigned, signed, signed. It would have messed with my mind a little bit. But um, they did a great job on the install as usual. Also while they were here, the installers helped us with our wall connectors. We were sharing 64 amps between all three of the wall connectors. They went ahead and bumped that up to 80. So now we yeah. can charge the cars just a little faster if necessary. Especially when all three are going. Yeah. That extra amps definitely will help. So a big misconception and a lot of emails that I actually have with you guys that have reached out asking about solar and power walls is power walls are worthless without solar but that's actually completely false, especially if you live in a place with time of use billing. You can actually make your power walls work for you and reduce your bill to help pay them off. Basically, if you have time of use and you're one of these areas, especially with huge difference between daytime rates yeah. and nighttime rates, you can, you can make money, basically offset your entire electric bill and then basically you can charge at night for like pennies, yeah. like eight cents a kilowatt hour but then you could sell it back perhaps during the day, depending on your live for like 40 or 50 cents per kilowatt hour. Yeah. And that, that means that you're putting back onto the grid at 42. Depending on where you live, you might not be able to sell that all. There might be a limit. You, there but might even be if set you can't year. sell it and you have an AC unit, you can pull it off the grid when it's cheap and yeah. use it during the day when actually, it's more expensive. You can actually use it yourself. So exactly. you're offsetting that use. You're not, being, exactly. you're not paying 42 cents or 50 cents per kilowatt hour. Yeah. You're paying the eight cent nighttime rate. Or in some places such as Texas, some places actually get electricity for free at night. So yeah. for those of you who live in areas like that, you could put in some power walls, charge them at night, and then power your house for free all day long. No solar required. So if you do have air conditioning though, you probably will need at least two power walls to back up the air conditioner and the other outlets and electronic appliances in your house. If yep. you're not gonna back up those and you don't have appliances, you can get by with one power wall just to light a few necessary appliances such as your refrigerator and some lights. But power walls combined with solar is actually even more beneficial. We'll have a couple of videos on that. We've been having a great experience so far and we actually just passed one year of power walls and solar install and actually being turned on. So a lot of cool numbers coming your way and it's been amazing. Electricity bill has dropped greatly. I, before, Tremendously. Before, um, we'll have the details later, but before I think our bills was averaging over $200 a month and Plus we had gas bills, which were probably two to $300 a month. Yeah. Now that we've had solar put in uh, between March and October, we don't pay anything for electricity. Nothing. And we don't pay anything for gas either because we have all the electric cars. So we're saving $500 a month right there. Yeah. In the winter months, you know, December, January, when the days are shorter and, and it's darker and there's more cloudy. snow, then we do still have a bit of an electric bill, but the solar has really helped offset that. And the way that we earn credits, our credits that we earn during the summer roll over each month. So our, we really probably won't have a bill in November, maybe not even December if we have enough credits. Yeah, so just like January, February, March maybe. Uh, uh, even March. A few Christmas. months. Yeah. We'll have a bill and even then it'll probably be maybe 50 bucks. Yeah. It'll be small, but we'll have all the numbers on that coming soon. Now we can almost probably go indefinitely. I don't know, maybe next summer, we like should... in May or something, we might have to test this out. I don't think we even need to wait that long. I think in the, I think we should give it a try here in the coming month uh -huh. or so. And basically- Coming try to, straight to this channel. Try to go off, of, off the grid. I mean, we yeah. know we can do it uh, for several days. As long as we have some sun in the forecast, we could probably go indefinitely. Uh, yeah. We do have, you know, cars that we need to charge, but it can handle that. We can actually yeah. charge our cars. But since the cars have such large batteries compared to the combined storage capacity of our four power walls, they could drain it if we wanted to charge the cars up all the way. We don't need that though. To survive, you know, every yeah. day, go to work, we don't need to charge the cars up every day. So if we're gonna do our, our grid outage test, I'm sure we could go indefinitely as long as we have sun. We'll have to test that out. And believe it or not, these four power walls have pretty much the same storage capacity as a standard range Model 3. So we almost have like a Model 3 stuck to our walls in battery capacity. That's pretty crazy to think of. But something else to point out, we mounted, we chose to have these mounted because we wanted True. them on display. These are like limited edition, referral, founder's edition, power walls, and three of them are signed. We wanted them mounted this way. Yes. If you don't have the room or if you don't have the wall space, you can actually mount them like kind of on like top sandwiched of each other. together and on the floor. Yeah. So they will only take up, you know, like three, three power walls. They can only be stacked 
three deep, but it would only take up like this much space on, yeah. on your wall. We definitely down. spread ours out, but we wanted to display them. Yeah. So if you don't have the room, don't worry. You can still get power walls just, and they'll just be mounted down on the floor. And they can be mounted outside too. Okay, well that's basically it for this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, can't wait for Monday because really special Tesla news that was going on at the same time that was getting installed. Total spontaneous surprise coming oh, up. I don't think anyone's gonna guess what we did. I really don't. Oh wait, which one? It's that crazy. We've got so much to oh talk Oh my god, about. yeah we do. Yeah, I don't know which And one. we have a bunch of videos of Gigafactory and the experience we had in China, uh, all kinds of cool new EV startups. I went to a factory in Shenzhen, we hung out at Gigafactory in Shanghai, we got some other special surprise coming, wow, there's a lot. Yikes. A lot of Tesla so, surprises. So, a lot, a lot of stuff coming, so definitely stay tuned. Again though, huge thank you to our channel sponsor, Abstract Ocean. If you guys are looking to accessorize your Model SX or Model 3, definitely check them out, all linked down below, and using code Tesla Inventory. All one word will get you 15% off your first order. And if you are like us and you have a Model 3, I would definitely recommend a center console wrap just to protect it from scratches and fingerprints because that center console gloss black is very prone to fingerprints, as well as a matte screen protector to help reduce any glare as well as any fingerprints. And huge thank you to you guys, as well as Tesla, love them too, uh, for really helping support the channel in terms of referrals and everything. It's been amazing. Thank you guys so much for everything. We've really appreciated it. And yeah, we just recently crossed 50,000 subscribers. So I can't wait to get to that next milestone. And I really kind of want to grow this channel big enough to maybe we can give away a Tesla one day. That's the ultimate a full goal. Full size real Tesla? Full size real Tesla. Maybe even the Model 3 sitting We've right there. We've already given away, they keep getting bigger. I don't know if you noticed, we've given yeah. away Hot Wheel size Teslas. We've given away other Teslas. We've given away Model, Model S, S for, for kids. kids. Maybe one of these days we'll give away a full size. That's that's the goal. So um, definitely subscribe, turn on notifications if you haven't already. But otherwise, we'll see you guys in the next one. Definitely thumbs up if you enjoyed that video. Comment down below any questions you may have and we will use those in a future Q&A. As always though, go ahead and click here to subscribe. Here for some other ones, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.